a first attack, which is going to be a Queen Charge Hybrid, which is uh, quite interesting yeah. because QS QSFN for me is always known for being an incredible, incredible good Lalo clan. So let's see. Let's see how he can uh, yeah, accomplish this uh, Queen Charge Hybrid. Yeah, starting off with that queen to the top side of the base, grabbing the Sarge Tower Wizard Tower. And we saw from an Affilian base that was just in the other war, where all the spring traps was really placed to help prevent a hybrid attack. I wonder if that is what ODS did here for his base. Well, he does pull out the Rackaloon, does decide to freeze this up as it's making its way across, rages the queen and going to be using this poison spell to try to keep this queen going. Yeah, I think it was a really good choice of freezing that defending clan castle. And so far, there are not too many traps. There's no native trap at the moment to rotate his queen into the town of poison, which is like, oh, okay, he just missed that tornado trap by a tile, I want to say. So another rage is needed to keep that queen alive. But so far, the rage is looking successful. More and more coca loons are getting sent, and he's uh, not really trusting this uh, this base so far. And he just keep sending those test loons in. And now with a hybrid. So let's take a look at those hogs and miners. If they're going to learn how to fly or if they're sticking to the ground. Yeah, with the hybrid coming in straight through the scatter shot. The enemy royal champion. There is the bomb tower right there. So we're going to see a grain war internal tome to help protect this whole charge. But the king's ability is finally just forced to the bottom side. Yep, there is the ward ability through the bomb tower and through a giant bomb as well. Let's see if there's spring traps down this bottom compartment. Doesn't look like it just yet. He's trying to keep this queen alive going in towards the single target inferno now. Yeah, he has to use the queen ability soon to make sure this queen is getting towards the single inferno tower. The hybrid is looking strong as well, but there's the back end scatter shot, which is really still looking threatening to this hybrid. The queen took down the single inferno tower, but the queen cannot reach that multi inferno tower, so she's going for another wall. And this back end tester form, this might be a big problem, but here, there's the invisibility spell. This is looking good Ooh. with this royal champion ability Ooh. right there. Scatter should go down. Wow, those hog riders just barely got into the scatter range right there. Was able to stay alive. The Royal Champion has got plenty of health to push through these final buildings. With 40 seconds left, it's looking like we're starting off with a three star from Leo of QSFN. Yeah, he's smiling. He's happy starting things off. Um, they're the front runners in this upper bracket. And starting with resources, I think this is, uh, yeah, giving them a really nice relief of pressure because, like, whenever you're kind of like going into a tournament as a favorite, obviously there's as well a lot of pressure on you performing to the level everyone is expecting. But at the same time, underdogs, uh, well, they have more, um, they can be more relaxed. Let's let's say it like this. So let's see if this is going to help to really have Tan to get this match going and going to tie in uh, the first uh, few attacks against QSFM. There are so many teams in this last chance qualifiers that deserved to be in with the golden ticket. They've played so much to get to this point, and we really could see any one of these teams making it there and competing with the rest of the golden ticket winners. But now Tora Tavatan with Vayne coming in. Oh, do you Let's see go. what I see? Some <laughs> super archers he did not get the memo that this is not part of the meta so this is what we like <laughs> to see um we wait you know this is that this is a oh with yetis okay we've got a mass yeti and super archer attack i'm not gonna lie i just actually saw this recently i did not think anyone else was gonna do this in a competitive war like this wait, wait. What, what is going on? I thought like there would be healers or something. I did not see there are 20 yetis no. in this army composition. Yeah. Spring traps so far are doing a good job of keeping those yetis away. But I, I mean, let's see. We're going to go on an adventure and see if it's going to work. The wall into the core is getting open. But those yetis are not coming back. Only the queen is going in there. But remember, uh -oh. there is no healers on this queen except this unicorn so this yeah. queen is way more squishy than you might think and yes still for earthquakes yeah he does earthquake towards the town hall there is the free time of the single the queen pops her ability these yetis are stuck on the wall is this going to what? be able to make its way through what is going on here what is he has two more freezes <laughs> another freeze from the town hall there's what? like a million troops left the royal team at the bottom side has her ability left i mean i can 100 guarantee you say that qsfn did not test this no. entry with one billion <laughs> yetis <laughs> swarming this space and now the royal champ with her ability can she overpower this back end with this expo that's the big question oh. 
That is the question here. Does have the RC ability. The Queen unfortunately steps into the channel poison, but the Unicorn trying to heal up just a little bit. And she's trying to hang on, but with no ability, this is going to hurt a lot. The RC's ability has been forced. Takes out an Archer Tower. We got two balloons moving in. Headhunter, go to the top side. RC's got some health. How much health does this Expo have? Oh, it's got full. It's taking some damage. The Queen, but she's going to go down to a small bomb. And the Expo is going to go down. No. Oh, no. The Archer Tower. Will it get at least one shot from the balloon? These Super Archers got to make their way through. No, they don't. Oh my goodness, oh. this one archer tower, the archers it's, they, themselves, they're trying to snipe it, but it's not going to work. No. It's going to be a high percentage two star, wow. but it's not going to oh, be a three. What? what? No he way. He got the archer tower. No it's a time way. Oh. oh my goodness, this attack was crazy. I still don't know why exactly he used an earthquake, to be honest. Um, because I feel like Jumpspeed could have gotten the same value, then he would have had, I don't know, maybe more freezes. But overall, like, if they're going to keep using this strategy, I think we're going to be up on an adventure in this match. Like, this is going to be some crazy, crazy attacks, because we have just seen... I, I don't think they have ever tested those type of attacks on those bases. And QSFN is next. They can increase the lead, or maybe they're going to give uh, Torilla Tavantan a chance of tying things up incredible there finishes with a 95 percent two star we had nine yetis eight super archers but the real kicker was there was no healers in the attack i was thinking oh well maybe somebody a healer or something comes out of the log launcher no we just had i think more yetis coming out here and he was able to take that town all down but unfortunately not able to finish off on the top side by that archer tower what a great effort there and now qsfn is going to be up and say hey if they are going to be this type of attack strategy they obviously did not test their bases for something like that so now they're just crossing their fingers that the bases can hold for whatever else thor tavatan is coming up with yeah and one surprise surprising thing is like i feel like in every single attack or in most of the attacks at least we see rages or something like that and there was no rage included in that last attack actually Kitano's was bringing no rages either so um well let's just uh get rid of that statement so let's dive <laughs> into this attack from the uh, Kitano, and he's starting off with some lightnings to take down this entire compartment behind the scatter shot starting his king into wait a second a locked on as well to get the king into the scatter yeah looks like it wants to grab this value and potentially push towards the town hall oh, find no. the test oh the king's going to the bottom right oh, he does yeah. open that compartment that king's not coming back his rc is going to lock onto the enemy queen but it is a triple ice golem so at the end of the day it's not too big of a deal if he does decide to use a poison which he finally does but a little late there unfortunately yeah, a little late, I think, indeed. The Queen, though, the Queen is supposed to now take down the Town Hall with that wall break. The single Tower oh. with the second layer is getting taken down. Like, just this creativity is insane yeah. from QSF. And the King is maybe even... Wait, is the King? No, the King is not taking down the Eagle. You see this Golden King on defense. This King is just yeah. huge. But wait a second. The Eagle is, I think, on half HP. The Town Hall is going down. There's not so oh. much space left, to be honest. Really, there isn't. Now, starting the Lala with the Grand Warden, but the Eagle does lock in a few balloons. Haste. Can these balloons get... Yes, they do get within the Eagle radius, so they don't get hit anymore. And here comes the rest of the Lalo to the right side towards the Scatter Pops. An early Warden ability not only protects the balloons, the Headhunters, but also the Lava Hound while it's tanking, so it can move over to the top air defense and continue to provide protection for these balloons. Yeah, it was a really good move of using this Warden ability as you said, as well, to cover this Lava Hound. And now those goons are swarming the back, and he has one minute left. This core is falling like nothing. He is happy. He is, yeah, screaming. And this attack, this attack was incredible, to be honest. Really, like, such a cool uh, idea to use the Lock Launcher to snipe a second layer Singer Inferno Tower. How do you, like, how do you come up with plans like this? This was an incredible, beautiful attack from Kitano right there. It really was well done from Katana walking away with another three star for QSFN here in the last chance qualifiers. Because if you lose this war, you are eliminated. There's no double elimination here. You don't have a second chance like the qualifiers. 
and all the work that you've been putting in this year to get to this point is coming down to these final set of attacks. Now, are we going to see Toro Tavatan coming in with some more crazy attacks to think <laughs> that you plan and do all this work and then you say, you know what, I think eight Super Archers and nine Yetis is the plan to come in with that attack at this stage of the competition. I just have the hand to him. That's just incredible. Can't believe it. What are we going to see next? Six golems or something? <laughs> um, I mean, oh, wait, again. wait, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you okay. kidding? All right. Did they, did they really just like came up with the strategy and said like, okay, right? this strategy is just way more powerful than we have thought in tests and something. So yeah. we'll just bring the strategy into this stage of the tournament without any rages. He's this time bringing though like a, like earthquakes and to jump. I don't know like yeah. how far he would like to get through this base, but this is just incredible. Multi Perverter on the top side should be taken down with this yeah. King and Yeti push. And then we have the King and Yeti's walking all the way. And let's see how close <laughs> this is going to be. Well, I don't know where his king is. I just saw a golem go to the top side over by that multi-target inferno. <laughs> oh, that's the king skin. Okay, that incredible. You know what? I wonder what another amazing skin we'll see coming up in the near future. I can't wait to see it. These skins have been getting better and better. But we're seeing these super archers pushing in towards the town hall, freezing it up. And look at this. These yetis, these super archers. The super archers can reach so far across. He's going to have to freeze the town hall yet again. Oh, he does. The queen's going to make her way. No, the queen does not go to the town hall here, but the town hall has been secured. Yeah, one of the thousand yetis actually took down this town hall. But now it's all about the backhand. This backhand is looking kind of scary because this queen on defense is staying alive. And even though the entry, I I mean, I don't know if it's like how a good entry with this, like what you're looking for, if it's looking good or bad, but like the entry looked decent. So, uh, yeah, but the attack is falling short at the end. And the percentage is really not looking good, to be honest. No, unfortunate. I was, we were thinking it was starting out really strong, but it finishes with a low percentage, 68%. There's the outside buildings. They really started to pick things off here. And the log launch are coming across, opening to the town hall. But the problem that scattershot to the far right is this one of the cases where you want to send your RC towards the very later part of the, the attack and not early in case if, it, if she gets picked off? But there it is, a 70% two-star right there. So back-to-back -back triples for QSFN and two fails for Tora Tavatan here in this match. It is heavily favored to QSFN at this moment here. Yeah, that, that's right for sure. I feel like the multi out at the top maybe took down too many uh, Super Archers and Yetis. And the king was just not strong enough to push through the top side. And again, I'm really, really not convinced about this four earthquakes. I feel like he could be, there could be something else, like maybe another jump with, with like one rage or something, because the lock launcher already is opening up so much. So yeah, um, yeah a little bit like a maybe strategy question, but either way, QSFN is going in next, and they keep going with their Lalo, and this is 32 loons. This is a, quite a big amount of loons, Giovanni. So let's uh, show us what exactly you have in mind. Well, with the king off to the right side, my only thing would be of saying, hey, Tora Tawatan's coming in with the kind of the Super Archer Yeti spam is because they are really known to come in with like Hydra or Dragon Clone or Mass Inferno Dragons. So they have completely shifted what maybe QSFN was expecting. So maybe they really try to do that. But QSFN, they are really good at Lalo and they're sticking to what they know best. And they're, they've walked away with two triples so far here. Out comes some Rocket Loons. It does make the Queen invisible, so she ignores a bit of the CC. And she can lock on to the Town Hall next as he continues this push towards Town Hall and that single target Inferno, which is going to look like it's going to stay up here. Yeah, but the Roger ability now at the top that is taking down some more defenses. And now we have again not too much left, considering this was. Yeah, just pretty much only a big push of those heroes and not too much else invested. And now we have a big Lalo coming in. As we said, a lot of loons with even heal spell for the core and possible some red bombs. Yeah, moving around with that ward and eternal tone pops it, which also protects that Lava Hound. Very nice job there. And he's freezing up the, towards the enemy queen. The Stone Slimer is pushing its way through the space. But does he have the ideal pathing? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of traps waiting for these balloons, but that is why he probably has a heal spell as he passes them right into the core. 
Yeah, there's the heal covering everything nice and it feels like it always looks so easy. This is like right? this is like oh wait, oh. red bumps, but there is so many loons. There's down. so many loons still yeah. coming in. This is still going to be a three star, yeah. So what I want to say, it's always looking so easy. This is like so what is so I don't know if, uh, if frustrating is the right word, but like obviously you want to copy what those pros are doing, but those Lalo attacks, they look so easy, and then you try it and you're like, okay, maybe not. Um so he's like 50 seconds left and Giovanni completely smashed the space with this Lalo attack. Beautiful job, Giovanni, with these final minions and pups cleaning up that storage, taking it down, putting a third triple on the board for QSFN. And that's why a lot of people favored them in the community vote. If we think back to that, I believe it was like 78% to 22 in the community voting in favor of QSFN. And they are three for three with two defenses against Tora Tavatan. What a great start for them here in the last chance qualifiers. They're trying to advance. Remember, they are already in the next round. So if they win this war, they'll be in the finals trying to wait for the winner of MCS and Affiliate, which we will have that war right next after this. And because we're going to be crowning a golden ticket winner here today, and another golden ticket winner tomorrow. But Itsu, take a look again. I mean, they are at this point, a one trick pony with just one attack strategy coming in. But hey, if they don't ever expect it, I guess it's the play, but that unfortunately it's just not, hasn't been working so far. I mean, that I'm confused is like, I guess just an understatement, but yeah, now the Yetis is coming in, we have eight super archers which are getting strategically placed behind those yetis and now the king with the ice golem so this time we brought the ice golem to go into the mojan fermentel which i like and the warden blitzy again really early on the lock launch is opening up everything and i'm where is he going to earthquake i don't know i think he wants to at least touch the town hall with the earthquake so that he can help damage it in the log launcher and the logs can skip. I think that's the reason why they're actually bringing the earthquake to be honest. And let's see, so he's pushing his way through, still not using the earthquake just yet. So he's still waiting on it with the rush champion coming in from the right side, moving his way through. The queen's gonna lock onto the single. There it is. Yeah, so see, he does damage the town hall, but he's moving his way through here. The super archer's in the core. He has one freeze left, freezes the town hall. Has another freeze for this Royal Champion and her ability. Doesn't look too bad here, but the problem is the queen goes down. Oh no, this this could be actually a one star. Um, I think a rage or something would have been so incredible. I think the super archers can even reach the town off from the core. So this last earthquake really was not the play, I feel like, in the Royal Champion. Without any spells, this is not oh. going to be enough. The town hall or no, the town hall is staying alive, and this means this, yeah, is uh, the match win pretty much. This is yeah, not going to be enough. Yeah, like oh yes, they're having fun. They're having fun. He Very showed nice it to the try. camera, and uh, yeah, map props to those guys. Unfortunate there, the town hall does remain up, but I really want to, like, I would love to still like interview and ask them this question. Like, why? what's the use of the Earthquake in an attack strategy like this? What are you looking to take out? Because obviously, if they're bringing this attack strategy here in a competition of this magnitude, it has to have been working in FCs when they've been using it before, maybe in some other friendly wars. And obviously, since we haven't seen this before, they haven't really been showcasing it in really a main competitive wars. Probably something just behind the scenes within their family clans as they've been developing it. Because they, I think at this point, they were coming in thinking, okay, they're the underdogs. They want to go all out. They're taking all the risk and they're coming with a attack strategy we have not seen before, which could give them the edge and advance them, right? So hats off to Tora Tavatan for also making it here, right? So there's a lot of other teams that did not make it to the last chance qualifiers that would have absolutely loved to be in this position. So really nice try to them. And the, unfortunately, these Yeti Super Archer attacks just haven't been working on these bases. 
Yeah, and as I said, I, th I think overall, like, we see how close they come. The first one was yeah. a time fail. The second one, and even the third one now, I think they really could be turned around with, as yeah. I said, just the earthquakes. The earthquakes are really, to me, like, a big problem. I think the earthquakes, yeah, they make sense on a ring basis because the lock launcher, um, it's really, like, hitting the town on more often, so you can take mm -hmm. down the town all quicker. But at the same yeah. time, on those uh, typical anti three-star bases, the town is so far back that, well, the earthquake is never really getting you any value. So a rage inside the core, just as we have seen, and with the crazy range of those super archers, the town is going down in no time whatsoever. But now we have Loop Zero coming in with the Queen Charge Lalo on this base. We yeah. have the Baby Dragon Funnel and the Queen Charge is getting prepared to get into that town or compartment, which looks... Um, dangerous because there's a single furniture tower right behind the town hall it seems like not the best clan cast timing either yeah i mean that that is a good point so Notice the clan castle near the single. I remember you've talked about it before in the past where I asked you, what do you think would be in the CC? A Lava Hound potentially, yep, there it is, because the Lava Hound would stall this queen up next to a single, but he utilizes this Hog Rider brilliantly so that he lures out the CC early so that she doesn't get stuck when she's taken on that single target Inferno. Yeah, that was a really, really smart move right there. Clan castle is getting dealt with nice and easy. And he's already preparing on this far left side for a funnel for the king to push into that scatter compartment, seems like, on this 9 o'clock side. The town hall now is getting activated, and he is to keep raging to keep this queen alive and push her further into this base. And so far, the single front tower is, like, doing way less than I thought. Well, I mean... Is not doing anything because the queen's completely <laughs> out of range of that single target inferno and she's slowly making her way through will she be able to reach and grab that queen if she steps up as she's addressing the section but doesn't look like it at the moment because the king is now down trying to push his way in towards the scatter shot does drop the road champ to help assist single target inferno locks down the queen now rages her up and makes her invisible really nice job here comes the hog provides a little bit distraction and gets through that single target like nothing and this is looking so good to start. Is he going to wall break for the queen? If he's not wall breaking oh. for the queen, I'm, I'm going crazy. Like, oh, please, no. you, you have two super wall breakers. Please use them. Well, that would be so crazy. But right now, I guess it's like multitasking on the highest yeah. level because he's having to play the Lalo was like one of the most difficult things. And we can see the left Lalo completely died out. Mm -hmm. So with that scatters on the back end, I'm not sure if that's looking too good. The rage is in. The queen, oh. though. Oh my. What? Okay, all of the red bombs are out. <laughs> <laughs> this means uh, maybe it's looking better now. Yeah, I would say after the warning ability, it protects those blues through every single red air bomb in the map. Brilliant job. Perfect timing there. Now, the queen's trying to push her way towards this middle multi. She's slowly going down. No, just survives through the king. Has the cleanup around, and again, another three star coming in for QSFN, and they are walking away with this war right here. Well done to them, but we're still gonna see more, I think, Super Archer Yeti attack from Toro Tavatana <laughs> at this rate. So maybe they say, hey, we're don't bring the earthquake and try something else, but still, I wanna see this attack and see when it actually works and gets the triple. Yeah, as I said, I think on ring bases it can actually really make sense with this earthquake because you hit the tunnel way earlier with the lock launcher. So as you mentioned earlier, there's way more damage on the tunnel. But yeah, uh, Luke Zero just incredible, incredible attack to get back to this attack. And so far, in the, just in the path past, Luke Zero has done insane in those community leagues and and everything. Like he was one of the big carries for QSFN to get them to this stage of this Clash World Championship. So yeah. he's a really, really strong attacker and um, yeah, showcasing that again. And now we're getting back to, to, to Tavantan and seeing what they're coming up with next. Yes. And <laughs> oh, he's, why he's relaxing. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> are you kidding? <laughs> now that is how I'm sure many Clashers play Clash of Clans, just <laughs> like that. That is the perfect form. Like, you can't get any better than that. You're completely at rest, playing on your phone. Perfect job here. Now, coming in with the Yetis, the Super Archers, right down in towards the Eagle Artillery. I mean, I'm taking notes right now on how he's attacking with this army right here. <laughs> and 
you know, you know, like uh, when your teacher or something is said, telling you, like you have to wake up in the <laughs> night and you have to be able to answer this question. That's exactly what he's doing right now with Clash of Clans. This is how it looks like. But either way, the push is getting, and the lockdown is pushing through the core. But everything uh -oh. is now uh -oh. pushing to the outside. Wait oh, a second. No. Nothing is throwing any troop into the inside. And now it needs to somehow say, I mean, yes, four earthquakes to get the troops back inside the base. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, that's true. That's, the, good, that's <laughs> a fantastic point. At least he could earthquake his way back in. And he's got the skeleton spells on the outside trying to provide a little bit of distraction for the Royal Champion. These Super Archers do take out that scatter shot. Where is the Queen? She's over to the right. There is the Earthquake to the right side. He's moving his way through. He's got some free spells plus the King ability. There might just be something here. The Super Archer is taking out the Clan Castle and the Builder Hut there. I think he might actually get this. All planned. Ah. This... Ah. I mean, what? you said it. You said it. I You're taking you. notes, and he's yep. delivering, was... <laughs> getting his three-star in with the strategic Yeti and okay. Super Archer deployment. And this means Conan getting the first three-star for Torre Tavantan so... with their, yeah, homemade uh, strategy. Yeah, so it's actually not the how you use the troops, but it's actually how you play Clash of Clans that is more <laughs> important here. You got to be at rest, laying on your back, playing with his attack strategy, and you're more likely to get that three star. It looks like he's proving it right here. Well done. <laughs> and look at that. It's called new meta because we don't even have an attack strategy that we've ever seen before. So we can't even call it, which which is a good point. Tora Tavatan, you're going to have to send us, maybe even send COC Esports Twitter, name this attack strategy so that we can then add this because you guys are using it here for the first time at this competition. I see it's only fitting for them to give this a name. I wonder what they could come up with. Yeah, I mean, let's let's not get there. Let, 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 hey, let them maybe. Do, the, do the work um, <laughs> and get, uh, yeah, get a cool name for this one. We got to name it something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, we have QSF. Like, both teams are really doing their thing, right? Like, QSF yeah. then keep going with Ralo and Torreta Ventan keep using Yetis and Super Archers. Absolutely. And I, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually looking really forward to the next <laughs> Yeti and Super Archer attack for Torreta Ventan. I'm sure all the viewers at home are as well. They just want to see if it works, to be honest. Here's the lightning coming in right near the town hall, taking out this section. And there is a super wall break towards the Eagle Artillery. Wants to push this King and a Valkyrie with a double skeleton. Really protect this King so he can get some fantastic value. Look at that Invis spell to help push this Queen to the Town Hall. Yeah, it's so impressive with those pros using those invisibility spells to make sure that they're stepping, or like those heroes are stepping into the right direction. King ability is getting used. Now the Clan Cars are coming out. There's a Rocket Loon Clan Cars actually. So super minions are in there as well. But those Rocket Dooms are losing their ability quickly, so maybe less uh, power of all. And now the Slammer is coming in to snipe this scatter as well. And wait a second, is this uh, Royal Champion maybe even taking down the Multi Inferno Tower? Oh, okay. Nope. It's got no ability. But, but the Multi the in the middle. Oh, well, the Slammer can path directly towards it. Look at that pathing. Brilliant. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of red, uh, red air bombs right in that section. One shouldn't go near there. Oh, there's a Tornado Trap. But there's a few red air bombs that just got pulled. Is he going to be able to have enough? I don't know. As a Tassel Farm popping, these balloons are going down fast. Yeah, they're really going down fast. But at the same time, the Slammer is still alive. And it feels like he has more spells than... And like, the spells are just keep coming in. Another haste, another freeze. And the, with this, all of those spells, the back end cannot deal with this. The back end Tassel Farm is getting overwhelmed. There's the Dragon Rider coming out of the uh, Slammer as well. Ugh. And he's just really casually like taking <laughs> on the the headset and saying, yeah, this, I mean, no one was concerned, right? Like this is an easy three star. And Picastro, think four actually. Yeah, uh, well done to QSFN coming in. But I mean, we still have one amazing attack still to come in with. <laughs> and I'm pretty much probably guarantee you it's going to be a Super Archer Yeti smash. But we need Torres Havitan to tell us the name. What is it going to be so we can call it by that? Because I'm sure, I guarantee you, these pro players are going to be testing this attack strategy out, right? I mean, they only have to try with Earthquakes, try without it. See if there is something there to e either potentially bring in future wars. Yeah, I mean, 
they they have to come with the name and let us know on Twitter as you said, and then we can <laughs> name the strategy somehow. So let's see. <laughs> but either way, the next attack, as you said, most likely is going to be another Yeah, Yeti and Suratra <laughs> attack. Um <laughs> so let's let's wait if they're coming in with that. Oh yeah, yeah, it <laughs> is. <laughs> of course. There it is. All right, now what's the plan? We've got a quad quake as well. Four skellies. All right, Tora Tava John. Starting it off with the log launcher. I mean, hey, they did all five of their attacks. Was this attack strategy here? And put it on the board. We're going to see a new meta coming into Clash of Clans. And you love to see that, right? That's what makes Clash of Clans so interesting. As at any moment, a new meta can arise and just brings just a whole just I said like whoa I never thought of an attack strategy like this and they're showcasing it right here let's see if you can get this value town hall is all the way on the top side of this base here though yeah the town hall really far back and he's using actually the log launcher on the right side to get those troops inside the core of this base and which I found out really showing off that there's a, a lot of damage um, inside this Inferno Tower, but now the Royal Champion is coming in, protected by those Skeleton Spells. He's, like, there's always so many Skeleton Spells, like, distracting, defending heroes, defending single Inferno Towers, and things like that. Now it's all about the pathing of those troops. Can he push all the way? And this so far is looking uh, good again, even though I don't know where the Earthquakes are coming in. <laughs> right? I would only assume the Earthquakes have to be used near the Town Hall, at least damaging it. Get the king back inside with the earthquakes. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got some freezes. Four freezes, actually. There's the earthquakes. I think he's actually got this. Look yeah. At, with the queen ability, with the freezes. Yeah, this is a three star. Never in doubt. Never wow. in doubt. <laughs> this, Look at that. Is, this is just crazy. This is just what? crazy. I mean, it to worked. be honest, a couple, like a couple of the earlier attacks, yeah. they could have worked as well. Then we had an unfortunate yeah. one star. Um, but in most of those attacks, they swag the Earthquake. So I feel like this strategy actually has potential of like being really, really incredibly strong with the, like he's even swaying a breach. This is just, right? this is just getting ridiculous at this point. Look, I told you, we are on to something here, ladies and gentlemen. They come in with five attacks with this same attack strategy. They had to have been thinking of something. So Tavatan, hit us up on Twitter. Let us know. It is your right to name this attack strategy so that we, I probably, I would say, I guarantee, maybe in the World Championship, we might see this. One of these teams pulls it out, but there it is. A perfect war for QSF and well done over Tora Tavatan. And like those, like we saw, 95%, 94%. Those were really close attacks, granted the one star, unfortunately.